चलिए बिस्मिल्लाम रिकॉर्डिंग इज ऑन सो वी कैन स्टार्ट सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू हैव लेक्चर नंबर थर्टीन एंड दिस इज रिगार्डिंग कैसकेडिंग स्टाइल शीट्स सम ऑफ दिंट्स ऑन कैसकेडिंग स्टाइल शीट्स हैव ऑलरेडी बीन डेमोस्ट्रेटेड इन एच टी एम एल लेक्चर्स स्पेशली इंटरनल स्टाइल शीट्स and in line style sheets but uh, those have been uh, um, have been explained just uh, to uh, demonstrate the capabilities of html but now we are uh, going to have a thorough treatment on uh, css and uh, so let's see let's move forward so this is uh, basically is the outline for today's lecture we'll see some introduction we'll see uh, its syntax and then we are going to cover various kinds of selectors we have simple selectors combinators pseudo classes pseudo elements and attribute selectors and uh, we are going to see these with the help of examples so starting from the introduction css is a language we use to style a web page and we will see various examples moreover we are going to see the latest version of css that is css3 css stands for cascading style sheets and css describes how html elements are to be displayed on screen paper or other media css saves a lot of work and it can control the layout of multiple web pages at once multiple pages ka layout kaise control karte hain if all the pages are linking are linked to single style sheets so if we will makes any change in the only style sheet which is linked to all the pages then uh, all the changes will are going to occur in all the pages so in this way css has, has solved a big problem in fact uh, uh, once css was not developed and only html was developed then html html was never uh, intended to contain tags for formatting of web pages and uh, when tags like font and color attributes were uh, added to html 3.2 then it started a nightmare for the web developers why because uh, development of large websites where fonts and color information was added to every single page it became a long and expensive process for example aapke 100 pages ki website hai aur client ki taraf se requirement aa gayi ki ji iski look and feel change kare kyunki thoda sa koi nayi look aani chahiye to ab koi central controlling mechanism nahi tha to developers ko har page pe ja ke unke fonts aur colors wagaira ko adjust karna padta tha so at that time um, this uh, requirement was felt and uh, to solve this problem w3c created a css and css removed the style formatting from html page to hua kya ke jo formatting wali cheeze hain wo html se nikal ke css ke andar aa gayi to isliye jab hum style html ke andar bhi hai lekin uh, we can use a style as well so a better way of uh, formatting uh, an html document is using a style attribute jaise humne bahut se examples dekhi thi for inline uh, css which is written within an element as well as internal css which is written in the head of an any any html page lekin uh, again all the, both inline as well as um, 
internal style sheet will only affect a single web page. So the most effective use of CSS is use it as an external file. So CSS in this way, CSS saves a lot of work. The style definitions are normally saved in external file, which has extension of dot CSS. The extension of uh, name is dot CSS. With an external style sheet file, you can change look and look of entire website by changing just one file. So, so let me uh, show you first of all its syntax. As you can see, the below picture it is indicating or summarizing the syntax of CSS. So first of all, we need some sort of selectors. Selector means on which CSS is going to be applied. For example, in this example, H1 is a selector. So this uh, style or properties are going to be applied on H1. So H1 is a selector on which CSS has to be applied. Then uh, a syntax of CSS is that we use curly brackets to enclose our declarations. And there can be multiple declarations separated by semicolon. And the last declaration must also be closed with a semicolon. And each declaration has a property value pair for example, uh, here we can see the example that color is a property and the value of color is blue. And for the second declaration after semicolon, the name of property is font size. And then after colon, value of the font size property is 12 pixel. So this is the basic syntax which we are going to follow for uh, our CSS style sheets. Any questions so far? We are at slide eight and uh, I have those eight slides. So, if there is any question or any query, you can ask. Sir, there is a question in the chat. Yes, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. So we are on uh, slide number nine. This is a, a, an example of the syntax. As we said that first of all, there should be some sort of selector. As you can see, there is a selector H1, there is a selector body, there is a selector P. Then selector, then there should be, um, then uh, selector should have, uh, the next declaration should be, enclosed in curly brackets as you can see here there are curly brackets and then there are some properties which are indicated with the red color these are predefined properties which we are required to be used and then there are predefined values which are required to be selected and uh, when once we use uh, we use uh, any text editor like we use studio code they help us in uh, selecting these properties and values okay now how to add css when a browser reads a style sheet it will format the html document according to the information in the style sheet. There are three ways of inserting style sheets, external CSS, internal CSS, and inline CSS. We have uh, covered internal and inline CSS in our HTML tutorial. However, uh, we have not uh, covered external CSS. So let me give an example of external CSS. External CSS uh, with the external style sheet, you can change look and look of entire website by changing just 
one file. Each HTML page must include a reference to external style sheet file inside link element. So link element use karte hain aur is element ke andar hum baaki detail kuch attributes dalte hain to link the style sheet and it is always in head section it is always in head section and uh, an external style sheet can be written in any text editor and uh, must be saved with dot as uh, css extension and uh, also you uh, are required to note that external css file should not contain any html tag html tag dot css file mein nahi hona chahiye so there are few um, uh, messages or takes from this slide first is that we need link and uh, link tag or link element then link element should be in the head section and then extension should be dot css and this css file should not contain any html tag any question so far uh, no sir cheek thank you okay let's see an example ye uh, this is a snapshot of view studio you can see i have saved one css its name file name is mystyle.css and uh, you can see it has a body selector and h1 selector and for body selector we have set its background colors as you can see on the file and then h1 file uh, h1 has um, um, uh, color text color is around orange and then its margin is on the left and similarly now this css is applied within the head section in the link tag first of all is relationship attribute where we write style sheet and then with h reference we write name of the style sheet that is my styles dot css and then there is an h1 on which this style is going to be applied let me show you this on uh, vue studio as well here is the same document uh, you can see body color is uh, here you can change the body color for example let me take this body color and let me save so function f1 view with live server so you can see body color has been changed let me take some other light color so here you can see the body color is changing i can also change color of heading heading color has been changed then uh, you can see that uh, for uh, heading the margin heading h1 h1 heading is margin left but here here you can see the html file on which this uh, style sheet has been applied here we are writing h1 and h1 this complete style has been applied on h1 and uh, if i uh okay that's fine 
and on P there is no style. So B is with black color. With H1 there is a style color blue, and that's all. So now we can create multiple HTML files, and each file may be linked to the same CSS. And then once we will change, uh, make any change in the CSS, that change will be reflected in all HTML files. So it's very simple. You can see there is no HTML tag in CSS file. Simply you have to name it the file and you have to start writing. Even there is no style tag in CSS. You just simply have to write the selector, the basic syntax that is selector with the declarations. So you have not you're not required to enclose it in any HTML tag. Just like for example, once we use a style in HTML file, we use a style tag. But here, even there is no need of using a style tag. Only .css extension would suffice. Any question on this demo? If there is no question, then we move forward. So we, uh, uh, with this introduction, now we come to the topic of uh, main topic of this lecture, that is selectors. CSS selectors selects HTML elements you want to style. Now there are various ways how we make a selection because we have already seen a simple example of a selector that is. Here you can see a body. It is a selector H1. This is the selector. So these are examples of a simple selectors. So, but there are various other kinds of selectors as well. So uh, in the CSS selectors are used to find or select the HTML elements you want to style. We can divide CSS selectors into five categories. So the first category is simple selectors. It selects elements based on name, ID or class. Second is <coughs> combinator selector. It selects elements based on specific relationship between them. And uh, we will see each one by one. Then is a pseudo class selector, which selects elements based on certain state then a pseudo element selector which selects and style a part of element and finally the attribute selectors which selects elements based on an attribute or attribute value so let's take each one by one starting from simple selectors Simple selectors, uh, let's see um, element and ID. So here we have already seen in the previous demo, the example of element selector. And P is one of the example, it, it can be div, it can be H1, it can be H2. So these all will be the example of element selectors. And uh, CSS element selector, the element selector selects the HTML element based on HTML element name. So, this means what will happen? If we have P selected, then this means that whatever the P elements will be, it will be applied to this style. It will be center of the text align and the color will be text color ho red. So, it is the simplest. A bit complex is ID selector. We define some sort of ID. We have seen various examples in HTML tutorial as well. The ID selector uses ID attribute of an HTML element to select a specific element. 
the id of an element is unique within a page so id selector is used to select one of unique elements aur uh, in do ki example dekh le yahan pe ye element selector ki example hai there is a p element and text align is left and color is blue and uh, you can see this is a paragraph and paragraph color is blue and paragraph alignment is left align and the other is example of id selector that is with hash and para1 id name is para1 and for para1 id any element having id of para1 the text alignment will be center and color will be red so here you can see that 1p is having when paragraph is having id of para that's why for this the para1 style will work and you can see on the right whereas for the other paragraph there is no id no id is selected therefore a default style of para will be used that is text align is left and color is blue any question on this slide slide number 17 ठीक है जी आगे चलें यस यस सर सर ओके सो नाउ आई एम ऑन स्लाइड नंबर हियर वी कैन सी द एग्जांपल ऑफ क्लास सिलेक्टर एंड यूनिवर्सल सिलेक्टर द सीएसएस क्लास सिलेक्टर द क्लास अगेन वी हैव सीन दिस क्लास एग्जांपल हैज ऑलरेडी सीन इन द एचटीएमएल ट्यूटोरियल but uh, just the for sake of uh, a kind of refresher i have included this the uh, the class selector selects html element with specific class attribute for example here you can see dot center so this is an example of class selector the to select element with specific class write a period character here you can see a dot followed by class name so there will be a period followed by class name this is how we are going to specify the style and uh, if we talk about universal selector we make a static so it means that it will be applied to all the elements static means it it is going to be applied on all the elements so uh, so already we have seen i have given you link if you want to see this uh, selector in action you can open a link and see the demo okay then uh, there is a grouping selector grouping selector is again very interesting for example for h1 selector h2 and p element selectors we have same style we have same style so we can group it to make it a concise make it concise statement so we can write h1 comma h2 comma p as you can see and then we can write it just once so it is an elegant way of grouping and making a concise css statement coming on to uh, so this was all about uh, simple selectors now the other kind of selectors are called combinator selectors so uh, what happens in combinator selectors a combinator selector is something that explains the relationship between selectors so it explains the relationship between selectors a css selector can contain more than one simple selectors so iska matlab hai ki iske andar ek se zyada selectors honge isme ek se zyada selectors honge 
बिटवीन द सिंपल सिलेक्टर्स वी कैन इंक्लूड कम्बिनेटर्स तो ओरिजिनली हमारे सिंपल सिलेक्टर ही होंगे लेकिन उनके दरमियान हम कम्बिनेटर यूज करेंगे एंड देर आर फोर डिफरेंट कम्बिनेटर्स वन इज स्पेस वी कॉल इट डिसेंडेंट सेलेक्टर अदर वन इज ग्रेटर देन साइन वी कॉल्ड इट चाइल्ड सेलेक्टर एंड थर्ड वन इज प्लस साइन वी कॉल इट एडजेंट सिविलिंग सेलेक्टर एंड थर्ड वन इज डिल्डा वी कॉल इट जनरल सिविलिंग सेलेक्टर सो लेट्स सी एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ईच फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जस्ट टू समराइज Uh, for example, if we write div space p, so it what it would mean? It means that we have to select all p elements. We have to select all p elements inside div element. So div ke under jitna bhi p elements honge, wo sare select karne hai. Or select karke we can format them, or we can do anything with these. Uh, whatever can be done with the style sheet the second one is div then uh, you may say greater than p what happens here it selects p elements where parent is a div element so all p elements which are uh, which have a parent div those p will be selected only the third one is div plus p it selects first p element that is placed immediately after div element is ki example bhi aage mera khala dali hui hai maine ha okay to ye summary hai let me take you directly to the example and the slide is 23 so the first one is descendant selector here you can see div space p and here you can see that there is a div tag or div element this div element has two paragraphs which are immediately below div sign that is at the second level of div and then there is a third p which is at third level because there is a section tag in between and what we what are we doing we are changing their background color to yellow so it means that we are highlighting the them para 1 para 2 para 3 so div ke andar jitne bhi descendant aayenge aur jis level par bhi honge all are going to be selected and styled on the other hand there are two para p p4 and p5 these are outside div tag so there is no effect on para 4 and para 5 okay the other one is a child selector here you can see div child p and we are changing its background color to yellow here you can see a div tag within a div tag their immediate level 2 child is paragraph 1 and paragraph 2 so it is highlighted on the other hand para 3 is at level 2 well level 3 it is descendant although it is descendant but it is not immediate child so para 3 is not formatted whereas after that para 4 is again immediate child of div then it is it is also formatted so this is meant by child selector that is immediate child is going to be selected third example is adjacent sibling selector and uh, this is the syntax div plus p so here you can see a div tag there are paragraph within a div tag but this paragraph 3 is immediate sibling of div yani ki div ke level par hai aur div ke baad hai 
दो इसमें चीजें हैं इट इज आफ्टर डिफ एंड इट इज एट द लेवल ऑफ डिफ दैट इज लेवल अगर डिफ का लेवल वन कंसिडर करते हैं तो पी का भी लेवल वन है अगर डिफ को हम लेवल टू कहते हैं आफ्टर बॉडी तो इसका भी लेवल टू है बट द पॉइंट इज डिव एंड पी बोथ आर एट लेवल वन तो जो इमीजिएट एडजस्टेंट सिबलिंग होगा दैट विल बी फॉर्मेटेड तो पैरा थ्री इज फॉर्मेटेड पैरा पैरा फोर भी उसी लेवल पर है लेकिन वो इमीजिएट सिबलिंग नहीं है इसलिए पैरा फोर इज नॉट बिंग फॉर्मेटेड अगेन यू कैन सी दे इज अ डिव साइन बिलो एंड इमीजिएटली आफ्टर डिव देर इज पैरा सेवन देर फॉर पैरा सेवन हैज बीन हाईलाइटेड सो एनी क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस लाइफ okay then there is a general sibling selector that is delta general sibling uh, sibling selector so what we mean by general here you can see a div sign and uh, after div there is a p para para 3 it has been highlighted and then there is a code tag but here we are in search of p a general sibling of div p so a code is also a general sibling but it is not to be styled only p element is to be styled so code is skipped and then other sibling of div is para 4 and para 4 has been highlighted so it indicates that all the siblings which will come after div those are going to be highlighted for example here you can see para 1 all although it is at the level of div but it is coming before div that's why we will not count it as sibling of para 1 we can say para div is sibling of para 1 but para 1 is not sibling of link div so for for para one to be sibling of div it has to come after div agar ye yahan pe hota to fir ye iska general sibling hota any question on this slide okay so it gives us some uh, example of css combinators now third category is pseudo class selectors pseudo class selectors so let's see what is what is pseudo class selector so a pseudo class uh, is a class that is used to define special state of an element so please remember we are talking about special state of the element agar uski koi state change ho jati hai select ho jata hai deselect ho jata hai kuch aur uski state mein koi change aati hai then the concept of pseudo class is going to work here you can see the example uh, syntax first of all there will be a selector followed by colon followed by pseudo class name and then there would be some property or a value so the example of state change are style for example style of an element when user mouses over uske upar mouse lekar aata hai pointer lekar aata hai to uski state change hogi to uski us state change pe hum style चेंज कर सकते हैं एनदर एग्जाम्पल स्टाइल विजिटेड एंड अनविजिटिंग्स डिफरेंटली अगर हम उसको कहते हैं विजिटेड लिंक का ये स्टाइल हो अनविजिटेड का ये स्टाइल हो अगेन इट इज चेंज ऑफ स्टाइल बिकॉज ऑफ चेंज ऑफ स्टेट एनदर एग्जाम्पल स्टाइल एन एलिमेंट वेन इट गेट्स फोकस जैसे ही उसके ऊपर कर्सर आएगा तो एंड इट विल गेट द फोकस 
उस अगर अगर हम स्टाइल चेंज करना चाहें तो स्टाइल चेंज कर सकते हैं एनी क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस लाइड ओके सो सो दिस इज देंटेक्स लेट सी एग्जांपल्स फॉर एग्जांपल एंकर सुडो क्लासेस लिंक्स कैन बी डिस्प्लेड इन डिफरेंट वेज Yeah, this demo has already been given in uh, ये जो एग्जाम्पल का मैंने यहाँ पे लिंक डाला है इसका डेमो ऑलरेडी एच टी एम एल की टूटोरियल में देखा हुआ है आपने तो हो क्या रहा है कि वी आर वी वॉन्ट दैट ए एलिमेंट ऑन हुवरिंग शुड हैव अ कलर दिस वन एज यू कैन सी तो ये जब हमने स्टाइल शीट में डाल दिया तो अब ए में हम क्या कर रहे हैं ए स्टाइल के अंदर हमने सिंपल ए स्टाइल है हमारा एंड व्हाट विल हैपन वंस विल टेक आर माउस ओवर ए एलिमेंट इट्स टेक्स कलर इज गोइंग टू बी चेंज इट विल बिकम दिस वन व्हिच इज स्पेसिफाइड विद हेक्स डेजिमल नंबर so this is an example of use of a pseudo class so pseudo class here is hover hovering hover is a pseudo class a is an element see another example here we are saying that uh, this is a pseudo class and css class okay so the css uh, class is here you can see the element element is a and its css class is highlight and its pseudo class is hover so we we are saying that any a element with with the with uh, with a class id of highlight should change its color that is css style should change its color once we hover our mouse over it and its color should become this one theek hai to ye isme thoda sa fark ho gaya ki humne class bhi mention kar di hai jab class mention ki hai to fir hum a dot highlight karke likh rahe hain is class ko for providing our style so its syntax would be element dot css class which is this one dot uh, colon pseudo class which is this one any question on this slide okay so ये वाला नहीं समझ में आया चले डेमो दिखा देते हैं सुडो क्लास एक ये एग्जाम्पल है जो कि ओवरिंग की है पहले भी देखी हुई है दिस इज अ लिंक तो ये आ गया कि अगर लिंक है उसका कलर अनविजिटेड लिंक अनविजिटेड लिंक का कलर होगा रेड ये पहले पहले मैंने विजिट किया हुआ है इसलिए इसका कलर 
ग्रीन हुआ हुआ क्यों ग्रीन हुआ हुआ बिकॉज विजिटेड लिंक का कलर ग्रीन है तो मैंने uh, पहले विजिट किया हुआ है इस पर तो इस वजह से ब्राउजर ने इसको रजिस्टर किया हुआ है वो ग्रीन किया हुआ है तो इसलिए अब सिलेक्टेड जो इसका माउस ओवर uh, इसका सिलेक्टेड है विजिट है तो ग्रीन हुआ हुआ है अब मैं माउस ओवर करो तो कलर इसका हो गया हॉट पिंक जब मैं इसको क्लिक करूंगा तो ये सिलेक्टेड हो गया इसका कलर हो गया ब्लू एज यू कैन सी हेयर कलर इसका ब्लू हो गया ग्रीन हो गया ठीक है जी एक एग्जांपल ये हो गई दूसरी एग्जांपल आ गई ये नीचे तो यहां पे देखेंगे कि देर आर टू एक ये स्टाइल आ रहा है ए विद क्लास हाईलाइट तो हम ये कह रहे हैं कि जी इसका क्या हाईलाइट पे क्या होना चाहिए इसका कलर चेंज होना चाहिए तो अगर मैं इसका इस पर लेके जाता हूँ तो इसका कलर ये वाला हो गया है एच एफ 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 इसका होवरिंग पे कलर चेंज हो गया क्यों चेंज हो गया क्योंकि इस ए एलिमेंट की क्लास का नाम दिया हुआ है हमने हाईलाइट तो हम ये कह रहे हैं कि वो ए एलिमेंट जिसकी क्लास का नाम हाई है उसकी होवरिंग पे कलर चेंज हो जाए तो इस पी एलिमेंट के अंदर ये ए क्लास पड़ी हुई है तो इसका कलर ओवरिंग पे चेंज हो रहा है जबकि नीचे वाली का कलर चेंज नहीं हो रहा ओवरिंग पे क्यों क्योंकि ए एलिमेंट है ए एलिमेंट है इसमें हमने ये ए के ये भी ए का ही है लेकिन हाईलाइट क्लास पे एप्लीकेबल है सिर्फ सिंपल ए पे एप्लीकेबल नहीं है तो इसलिए इसका ओवरिंग पे कलर चेंज नहीं हो रहा आई होप इट इज क्लियर नाउ यस सर जी अभी क्लियर है नहीं सर क्लियर है यहां तक डिस्कस कर लिया हमने सो देर आर वेरियस अदर एग्जाम्पल्स एज वेल हर एक का ये हाइपरलिंक आपको नजर आ रहा है हर एक की एग्जाम्पल आपको मिल जाएगी एक्टिव वाला ऑलरेडी एग्जाम्पल देख लिया आपने इसका चेकड है ये चेक बॉक्सेस पे काम कर रहा होता है चेक वाला भी इंटरेस्टिंग है ये मैं दिखाई देता हूँ आपको ये चेक वाली एग्जाम्पल बोलते हैं ये देखें चेक पे उसकी हम हाइट फिट चेंज कर रहे हैं इनपुट की तो इस इनपुट के साथ चेक लिखा हुआ है ये मेल वाली इनपुट है इसका चेक लिखा हुआ है ठीक है तो चेक का मतलब है कि मेल को चेक हुआ हुआ है मेल चेक हुआ हुआ तो इतना बड़ा कलर हो गया मैं फीमेल को चेक करता हूँ तो कलर चेंज हो गया ठीक हो गया जी इस ये इसको मैं चेक करता हूँ इसको चेक करता हूँ तो जिसको चेक करेंगे वो उसका साइज बड़ा हो जाएगा विथ हो जाएगी हाइट विथ 50 तो आप ये देख लेंगे कि सी एस एस स्टाइल शीट से ये जो सी एस एस थ्री है बहुत पावरफुल है आपको बगैर प्रोग्रामिंग के जावा स्क्रिप्ट के बहुत सारे काम कर सकते हैं आप बहुत सारे स्टाइल वाले बहुत बड़े टक्टलियाँ डाल सकते हैं बीच में ठीक है शादी जबान में अच्छा जी और ओके, सो दिस इज योर सेल्फ स्टडी आपने ये वाले बाकी एग्जांपल्स देखनी है ये सारी सूडो क्लासेस हैं ये काफी सारी सूडो क्लासेस हैं हर एक एग्जांपल मौजूद है आपने लाजमी एक बार खोल के देखना एग्जांपल कैसे काम करिए ताकि आपको पता हो कि वंस यू आर मेकिंग अ वेबसाइट आपको जनरल आइडिया होना चाहिए कि अच्छा जी ये क्या क्या कर सकते हैं आप क्योंकि ना जब आपने इन सारी एग्जांपल्स को एक दफ़ा देखा वो देन फिर आपके बैक ऑफ माइंड में होगा आपको पता होगा अच्छा ठीक है कौन सा काम सीएसए से करने वाला है और कौन सा जावास्क्रिप्ट से करने वाला है तो कोशिश आपकी यही होनी चाहिए कि जो काम सी से हो सकता है उसके लिए जावा को यूज़ ना करें एक दो एग्जाम्पल और दिखा देता हूँ आपको फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज 
an example of ये आप ये देखें इसके ऊपर मैं माउस घुमा रहा हूँ तो आप माउस ओवर से काफी सारे स्टाइल हाइपरलिंक्स के इंक्लूड कर सकते हैं ये एग्जांपल मौजूद है यहाँ पे हर एक का डिफरेंट स्टाइल है एंड यू कैन सी लिंक विजिटेड ओवर लिंक विजिटेड ओवर लिंक विजिटेड ओवर आपने कर दिया है और आपने उसके बाद आपने यहाँ पे क्लासेस डिफाइन किए हैं ए डॉट ए डॉट टू ये क्लासेस हैं ए डॉट थ्री ए डॉट फोर यानी होगा ये हाइपरलिंक लेकिन उसकी क्लासेस डिफरेंट डिफाइन कर दी हैं तो आप ए ए है ए क्लास वन के साथ डिफाइन कर दिए पहला वाला इसका स्टाइल डिफरेंट हो गया दूसरा हमने क्लास टू के साथ डिफाइन कर दिया तो स्टाइल डिफरेंट हो गया फिर क्लास क्लास थ्री वाला इसका स्टाइल डिफरेंट है क्लास फोर वाला इट हैज अ डिफरेंट स्टाइल एंड क्लास फाइव इट हैज अ डिफरेंट स्टाइल ठीक है एक ये इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जांपल थी ज्यादा इंटरेस्टिंग थी तो मैंने का ये दिखा दूँ आपको एंड देन इज द यूज ऑफ फोकस अगेन वेरी यूजफुल ये भी दिखा देता हूँ आपको डेमो फोकस का क्या मतलब होता है एनी बडी नोज फोकस का क्या मतलब होता है देखे इसके ऊपर माउस लेके जा रहा हूँ <coughs> माउस ओवरिंग से कुछ नहीं हो रहा <coughs> फोकस क्या होता है तो हम कह रहे हैं इनपुट फोकस पे बैकग्राउंड कलर येलो हो जाए अब मैं क्लिक करता हूँ इसके अंदर तो इसका कलर चेंज हो गया नाउ द फर्स्ट नेम इनपुट हैज गॉट द फोकस और इस फोकस आ गया तो अब इसके अंदर मैं कुछ ना कुछ टाइप ही कर सकता हूँ ठीक हो गया फोकस का मतलब होता है जिसमें कर्सर आ जाए वो सिलेक्ट हो जाए अब फोकस नीचे आ गया इसका कलर येलो हो गया तो अगेन इन फॉर्म्स दिस स्टाइल इज वेरी कॉमन कॉमनली यूज ताकि आपको पता हो कि इस वक्त आपके कौन से वाले टेक्स्ट uh, बॉक्स में हैं तो इसलिए ये वाला स्टाइल यूज किया जाता है तो इट्स अ सिंपल वे यू कैन यू कैन मेक चेंज योर स्टाइल बेस्ड ऑन which field input has been focused okay ji to theek ho gaya let's have a 10 minutes break fir uske baad aage chalte hain now we will see pseudo elements but let's have a 10 minutes break